Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In the previous video, we concluded that by using an electronegative gas, we can do what? We can reduce the arc current. But the arc was not eliminated. Yes, but you know, we have to eliminate the arc. If the arc is still present, our problem is not solved. Yes, yes. So let's say in this video, we just try to wind it up and eliminate the arc. Till now, the discussion that we have did, that we have done, is was on the basis of STP, Standard Temperature and Pressure. The whole discussion that we did, the gas in the chambers between the two electrodes or the gas of the circuit breaker that we talked about, that every, each and every discussion that we did was on the base that the gas is at STP. So, let's say in this video we change the pressure and see what is the effect. So, I, I just give the heading the effect of pressure or let's say I am changing the pressure. So, change pressure. Now, there was a scientist by the name of Paschen who did the experiment of breakdown voltage of different gases at different pressures and he observed a graph now over here low pressure and high pressure so we do not know what a low pressure is what a high pressure is these are just relative terms i will not talk about the atmospheric pressure if this is higher this is lower so that and this no Paschen gave me a point. Paschen, uh, you know, carried out experiments at different gases at different pressures and concluded a graph which was this sort of a graph. If the horizontal axis is your breakdown voltage, let's say VB for breakdown voltage and this is the pressure. So the graph was something like this. Okay. So, what does this represent? Have a look. We have got a point, this point over here. This is a very significant point. This is called, let's say, a P0 point. What do you have it? Paschen gave me this point. This is as the reference point. This is called the Paschen minimum point. This point is called what? This point is called the Paschen minimum point. Point. Why? Because this is that pressure of a gas at which the breakdown voltage is minimum. Right? Yes. So, the pressure at which breakdown voltage is minimum is called what? Is called Paschen minimum point. From this graph, what can you conclude? You can conclude is that at a particular point, you've got the breakdown voltage would be the easiest. The breakdown would be the easiest. The breakdown voltage would be minimum. You increase the pressure, the breakdown voltage increases. Have a look, from the Paschen minimum point, you increase the pressure, the breakdown voltage is increasing. Similarly, from the minimum point, you decrease the pressure, the breakdown voltage is still increasing. Have a look. So, which means by playing with the pressure of a gas, you can play with its breakdown strength or the dielectric strength. Yes, yes. So, what do I do? Now, this one is the high pressure region for me and this one is the low pressure region for me where P0 is my reference point. So, if I say in the high pressure region, what happens? The breakdown voltage increases. In the low pressure region, what happens? The breakdown voltage uh, increases again. High pressure is achieved by what? By the use of compressor pumps. Compressor pumps. By the use of compressors. Low pressure is achieved by the help of vacuum pumps. 
लो प्रेशर इज अ लिटल a little difficult to achieve because the use of vacuum pumps vacuums are a little expensive as well and this is not that feasible so generally generally we use this high pressure region which means what which means that a gas i have used at a high pressure what happens is that the uh, uh, that the breakdown strength increases the gas density is a function of its pressure gas density is a function of its pressure which means what that if i have increased the pressure this means that i have increased the gas density which means what that the gas molecules are so densely packed so densely packed that if an electron goes through them it has a very low velocity and so much molecules are present that the collision is ineffective you take it an example that you are walking through a street full of people so number one you cannot go with a high velocity you are going with a low velocity and if you collide with someone so that collision is not that effective to produce collision ionization so this means what that by increasing the pressure you have increased the gas density by which you have reduced the chances of collision ionization and hence the current uh, will not increase and hence it will not lead to breakdown similarly you can talk about the low pressure region if you you take the pressure to be low if the pressure is low what do you have you have reduced the gas density which means the molecules are so far apart that if the electrons are moving in the field they miss a collision there will be no molecule to collide with if the pressure has been reduced so the molecules would be far apart and the electrons would not find any molecule to collide with and hence again collision ionization reduces so by playing around with the pressure of the gas we have come to know that we can reduce the chances of ionization and hence the current and hence the breakdown either by going to the high pressure region or by going into the low pressure region similar is the case of the circuit breaker that we, we are talking about circuit breaker is through which we are discussing this problem when the context of the circuit breaker open the air gets ionized and there is an arc the contacts when moved to a certain path a certain distance the arc finishes but we don't know that distance when will that finish so why don't we use air why don't we use air so air is used at a high pressure to blow off the arc if you have the contacts of the circuit breaker as soon as they open what do you have is you have an arc between them so to extinguish this arc you produce you give it an air at a high pressure from here in the form of a cross blast and this does what this does uh, extinguish this arc this is air at a high pressure the pressure or the gas density formula in terms of pressure is this thing delta is 0.75 times p divided by the temperature in centigrade plus 273 so you can use this formula somewhere you will just uh, uh, need it maybe you, we don't need it over here so you give it an air at a high pressure to extinguish this arc so this high pressure air is doing three things number one it does what it blows off the arc blows off the arc cuts it into fragments and blows it off eventually the second thing that it does it that it cools the contacts this is called what this is called arc quenching this is called what this is called quenching of the arc and a third important thing that it does is that it uh, increases the dielectric strength 
it increases the dielectric strength why because of the high pressure so which means that it is over here at the high pressure region you are injecting admitting this air so you have what you have increased the dielectric strength as well fine yes so now has it worked for me yes we talked about electrons so uh, they were present due to nature we talked about a high over function not feasible electronegative gas solved my problem a little but now using of a high pressure air it has it has you know eliminated the arc okay there is a restriking voltage there is a restriking voltage now as in human being you get ill and the doctor you know uh, 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 gives you an antibiotic so you have to use that antibiotics right similarly this is the antibiotic for this but as the bacteria uh, attacks again if you don't use the antibiotic for the complete course so then it does not work similarly over here the voltage will restrike and that restrike is even more dangerous that restrike is even more dangerous because this would be working as a capacitor as the capacitor has a voltage and then it builds up a voltage of twice the maximum value so over here also the voltage restrike is much much more dangerous than the original arc so for the voltage restrike what do you do is you have to provide the air till till what till the time the contacts are open provide air till the time the contacts are open which means that there is a fault and the contacts are open and you have to continuously admit air into it so no so basically the dielectric strength increases when you when you put in that uh, that uh, pressurized air and the rate at which the dielectric strength increases should be greater than the reverse recovery voltage or the rate of which the rate of rise of the recovery voltage which you write as r r rv rate of rise of the recovery voltage the restrike so if this is greater the rate of dielectric strength increases greater so then you have no restrike but if you have a restrike so what do you have then that is more dangerous so for that what do you do we cannot continuously admit air so we have the isolator switch we have what we have the isolator switch an isolator switch is what that when you have the circuit breaker open the air is provided in the form of a blast in the form of a cross blast it cuts the arc it cools the contacts but when it's open then you open the isolator switch when the isolator switch is open now you are in a safe zone now you don't have any restrike or any current flowing so the circuit breaker interaction chamber is getting a feedback and that there is a mechanism and that is through a solenoid valve and that is getting a feedback so when the isolator switch is open the air the compressor is closed you cannot directly say that the contacts have been open just close the compressor no till the time the isolator switch is open you have to provide that air you know about the air blast circuit breakers right yes so I believe that is it air blast circuit breakers in this way similarly uh, uh, we have the SF6 circuit breaker so SF6 I told you it has a high dielectric strength it has another superior property is it acts as a coolant as well and number three if you increase or decrease the pressure as in this way so the dielectric strength would further increase right yes similarly you have uh, vacuum circuit breakers so that would be on the uh, on the less density side and you have liquid oil circuit breakers as well so maybe we see them in the liquid dielectrics for me for the gas insulation that is all about it you have any questions you can you know write it in the comment section and i will be answering those and i hope that you have understood this phenomena by changing the pressure the 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 dielectric strength varies the breakdown voltage higher breakdown voltage is required a higher voltage is required to produce breakdown at a higher pressure at a lower pressure with reference to a past and minimum pressure right 
yes so that is it for me i finished this video over here i will see you in the next one very soon inshallah till then take care of yourselves everyone around you do remember me in your prayers do subscribe to the channel goodbye